25 basic Mac keyboard shortcuts by Grumo. I'm gonna show you a lot of the shortcuts that I've been using over the years that have saved me probably thousands of hours. Instead of using your mouse or your trackpad and, and just going all over the screen trying to find where to click, uh, using shortcuts can make your workflow a lot more efficient and they will increase your productivity a lot. So before we go into the shortcuts, let me explain you where modifier keys are. Modifier keys are the keys that you're gonna press in before it, as a combination in order to get the shortcut working, right? And there is four, shift, command, control, and option. The one we're gonna be using the most is command, which is sometimes abbreviated as CMD, sometimes it's uh, shown as an Apple icon, and sometimes as that squiggly pound symbol. Then the second one we're gonna use the most is shift, and then control and option are used, but not as much. As much. And uh, the actual uh, 25 shortcuts are these ones. Copy, paste, cut, select all, and do, redo, switch programs, next window, close window, new document, save document, save document as, open document, print document, quit program, spotlight, new folder, delete files, empty trash, open preferences, go to the beginning or end of a document, to the top or bottom of a document, Capture your entire screen, capture a custom area of your screen or capture a specific program window. And then what we're gonna do next is show you all of these shortcuts in practice. Command C to copy. Here's how it would look on your keyboard. As you can see, I've uh, put a one and a two just to show the order because it's very important to press the keys in the right order, right? If you press C, before the command key, it's not gonna work. You're gonna write a C and nothing is gonna happen, right? So make sure that you always press the modifier key first and then the letter. Copy, obviously a lot of people know this already, but I just wanted to show you how, to, uh, how that actually works. Look, if I just select an area here on this uh, web page, right? And I press command C, this text or whatever, even images, gets copied to the clipboard. The clipboard is this virtual invisible document where stuff gets copied to so, not, so you can paste it later. But you actually can see the contents of the clipboard if you go to your finder. If you go to your finder and you go to edit, show clipboard, you can see exactly what I just copied. And now this, it's safe there for me to be able to paste it anywhere. Command V for pasting. Now that we've copied something into our clipboard, pasting it is very easy. Just press Command V. So we have something on our, on, on our clipboard already. So all we have to do is uh, open a, a, a document and then we can press Command V to paste it. And there it is. We can press it as many times as we want to. And that's how you paste content. Command X to cut content. Select any area you want to cut, then press Command X. That text, that content is gonna be deleted from your document, but it's gonna be saved in your clipboard. That means that now if I press Command V, it gets pasted again. Command A to select all the content. So if we go to our document and we press Command A, everything gets selected. And now we can copy it, delete it. We can delete it very easily by pressing the delete key, for example. We can also select all the contents of a web page by doing Command A. And now we can Command C, copy it, and Command V, paste it on any document that we want. Command Z to undo. This is my favorite one because every time you screw up or you go oops, then you just press Command Z. So let's say we screw up here and oh, oh, I deleted the wrong thing. No problem. Command Z and your problem is fixed magically. This is amazing. And, and uh, imagine you want to go back many, many times because you screw up many, many times. Look, I pretty much destroyed this uh, part of the document. No problemo. Just press Command Z several times and you're back to where you started. Command Shift Z to redo. Let's say I make a mistake here. I deleted that by mistake, so I wanna undo that mistake. I press 
command Z and the mistake has been undone. But let's say that I wanted that mistake to stay there. Well, very simple. Press command shift Z and we go back to where we were before. Command tab to switch programs. Instead of going like trying to find your programs and moving windows around to find the program you're going to want to go to, it's very simple. Just press command tab and you'll get this display with all the open programs and now you can easily select where you want to go. You can do it with your mouse or if you actually keep click kicking tab, tab will iterate through all the open applications. Command backcode to cycle through open windows in the current program. So right now I'm in text edit and I have four windows open, four different documents. You can see them all here. So instead of using my mouse, I can go command backquote and really quickly iterate through all the windows in this program. Command W to close a window or a tab on a browser. So if I want to just close this window, window 3, I can go command W and it closes it. The same for window 4, command W and it closes it. If I'm in my browser, command W will close that tab, right? And close that tab by pressing command W. Command N to create a new document or to open a new window on your browser. So if we press Command N on text edit, now we're in a new document. And if we go to our browser and we press Command N, it opens a new browser window. Command S to save. Command S saves the document. You can see when I press Command S, if you look here under the file, it lights up. That means that we have actually saved it. Now. If the document happens to be a document that we haven't saved before and we press Command S, you can see that text edit, or usually the program that you're using, will ask you to give it a name and select a location where you want to save the document. Shift Command S to save as. You can actually press Command Shift S as the order of the modifiers doesn't really matter. Now let's try this on our document. Shift Command S. And basically what it does, it duplicates the document and now we can save it as whatever we want. Just save it. And we can press it as many times as we want. It basically is uh, saving different copies of the document. Command O to open a document or an application. So to open a document, just select any document and press Command O and it gets open by its default program. In this case, it's just a text file, so it gets open by text edit. But if it's an application, let's go to applications, and we want to open, for example, uh, Firefox, which has select Firefox, and we press Command O, then Firefox opens. Command P to print the document. Simply open any document, and then press Command P, and this will bring the printing dialog box. Of course, you need to have a printer connected. And then all you have to do is click print, and there you go. Voila! You print your document. An interesting thing that you can do also is if you go to Finder and you select a printable file, like a text file or a Word document, and you actually press Command P, it's going to print it directly. You won't even have to open the document. Command Q to quit your program. Command Q closes and quits the program for good. Command Spacebar to bring Spotlight. Command Spacebar brings Spotlight and now I can search for any document in my hard drive. For example, if I'm looking for the shortcuts document, short as you start typing, the results start appearing and there you go, my first result it's my PDF with all my shortcuts. Command spacebar. Command shift N to create a new folder in Finder. So simply go to Finder and then press Command Shift N and there you go. A new folder. Command delete to delete one or several files. So let's say I want to delete these four files. I press Command Delete 
now they are having taken to the trash. I can actually open the trash and see that the files are there. If I want to uh, recover them, just select them, right click and select put back and they'll go back to where they were. Command shift delete to empty the trash can. All right, so let's say we've been deleting a lot of stuff over the day, right? Like right now I can delete these files and delete these files. Anyways, eventually your trash can may be full of megabytes, gigabytes of data and uh, eventually you don't need those. So if you wanna empty the trash can, you can do that with the shortcut shift or command shift delete. Let's just check the trash can. You can see all of that's in there. So when I press that shortcut, that should disappear. Let's, let's try. Command shift delete. It gives me a warning and I just click empty trash can and there you go. The trash can is empty. Command comma to check the preferences of any program. So for example, in Safari, if I want to check the preferences for Safari, just press command comma and that brings the preferences for Safari. In uh, Finder, for example, com command comma, it brings the preferences for Finder. Command left and right arrows to go to the beginning or end of a line or to go back and forth in your browser. For example, right now we're at the end of this line. If we want to go to the beginning of the line, we just press command left arrow and that takes us to the beginning of the line, back to the end. Command right takes it to the end of the line. If we are browsing away and we want to go back to where we were before, you can press command left arrow and that takes us back, command right arrow takes us forward in our history. Command up or down arrows to go to the top or bottom of a document or in the browser as well. So let's say we have a very big document instead of one, you know, scrolling up and down a lot, we want to go to the bottom right away, we just press command down arrow and it takes it to the button. And if we want to go all the way to the top, we just press command up arrow and that takes it to the top of the document. It works the same on a browser, just press command down to go to the bottom or command up to go to the top of the document. Command shift three to capture our entire screen into a file, an image file into our desktop. So simply go command shift three, you'll hear a picture sound and then you can see how the image was created and it has the screenshot and the date and the time it was taken. If you open it in preview, you can see that that was uh, your entire desktop has been captured into a PNG file. Command Shift 4 to capture a custom area of your screen. So this is very useful if you want to send a specific area of your of uh, your screen to, uh, for example, a designer and say, you know, please fix this part of my website. So Command Shift 4, you see now you get some uh, crosshairs. Make sure that now you just simply drag as big as you want the area you want to capture and when you release you'll hear the uh, camera shutter sound which means it's been captured. There you go and now if we go to our finder the file has been created and just that specific area has been captured. Command shift 4 and then spacebar to capture a window, an entire window of a program. For example, let's say we want to send somebody our preferences for Safari. So we go command comma to show the preferences. We go to general here, for example, and then we want to capture this window exactly. So it's very simple. Just go command shift four, right? And then press space bar. You can see now we can bring this camera icon to whichever window we want to capture exactly. So let's say we want to capture the preference, preferences window for Safari, then just click, you'll hear the uh, shutter sound, and then if we go to Finder, we have uh, an image file has been created which contains exactly just that window. And those are the 25 basic Mac keyboard shortcuts by Grumo. Thanks for watching.